It was clear soon after the kickoff that neither of these sides would be giving an inch. But when Nathan Walker regathered after a chip and chase, he found Daniel Smith in support to cross for the game's first points. The Bulldogs hit back quickly. Hooker Adam Pascoe spotted a gap from dummy half. Warren kept up the pressure. Minutes later, Craig Roweth was held up over the line. But when quick hands found his brother on the far wing, Steve Roweth crossed for the first of a pair. The centre didn't have to wait long for his own, and the dummy and he was on his way. The big centre crossed again two minutes later. But when James Nealon sent a pass to coach Robbie Olsen, the writing was starting to appear on the wall. The kick would take the score out to 26-4 in the first 26 minutes. The Bears dug deep, and a try in the corner to Neville Suey kept the half-time score to 24-8. The Bulldogs didn't need the late recruit. Inspired by the break, the Canaveral home crowd came to life when centre Anthony Thurston crossed. But Warren piled on more points, and when Adam Kentwell pounced on a loose ball, the Dogs were out to a 20-point lead. There was a flicker of what could have been when Louis Murphy made the most of a break and crossed next to the posts. But it all came too late as Warren piled on two more tries. The sound of the siren starting the celebrations. Oh, mate, that was just beautiful, mate. Pinnacle of Country Rugby League. Mate, 33 years since Warren's won it. And me and this fella here, we put in for the last eight months. Canamble making no apologies for the physical side of the game. Yeah, look, out here in bush football, mate, there's no, there's no, there's no give and take at all. It's, if you're not tough, don't play. The victory margin, 46 points to 20. Alan Reader, We News.